Hi guys, Al Smith here. Today we're going to have another lesson on, lesson on splinters. Previously we, dis, we discussed the responder splintering, bidding a splinter bid in response to the partner's open. Today we're going to look at splinters in the other positions. The first one we're going to look at is the opener splinter to the responder bid suit. We titled the splinter based upon who is bidding the splinter. Just like the opener, the responder splinter, the opener splinter requires that we be able to have a nine plus card fit and a singleton or void. Okay, this becomes these are this is the key shape requirement for making a splinter bid. One of the things to to, to note about splinters is that if you're uh, if you found a nine plus card suit, the opener, oh, let's say the opener opens with, with six spades. Typically, you're going to want to rebid the spade. However, if your partner showed five plus diamonds and you have four plus diamonds, you're going to bypass, bypass showing the six spades in order to show the nine plus card fit if you have the proper shape in order to splinter. Also, remember that if you're playing two over one, the two club bid may only show four cards because two clubs is sometimes used as a temporizing bid. This doesn't happen too often, but just be aware. Now, when your partner makes a two club, two over one bid, you're going to assume they have five, but just be aware that they might only have four. Yeah, the being able, the opener being able to make a splinter bid is based upon two factors. The number of cards they have in order that are needed in order to do the splinter and a number of points. So we're going to look at the number of cards needed first. If the responder bid a new suit at the one level, they're only promising four cards in that suit. And it's four plus, but the minimum is four. So in order for the opener to be able to splinter after the responder makes the bids a new suit at the one level, they need to have five. Because five plus four equals nine. Now, if the responder bid a new suit at two level, we're assuming they're showing a five plus card suit. Therefore, the opener only needs four cards in that suit. Now, after the uh, the the there are sequences where uh, the responder shows a six plus card suit. This is typically after the responder's second bid. So let's say they rebid their hearts, showing that they've got six hearts. Now the opener will only need to have three plus cards. What's important to note here is that even after the, 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 the splinter can be delayed and the opener can make a splinter bid after the responder's second bid. Now let's look at the number of points that are required. Right, the, uh, and the points needed are based upon the minimum number of points that the responder is showing with their bid. Uh, the responder to bid a new suit at the one level requires, requires to only have six plus points. So in order to splinter, because you're going to be forcing the bid to the, the four level, the opener needs to have 19 plus distribution points. Okay, uh, remember that's really important is that 19 plus six is equal to 25. You don't want to get overextended. So if you can't, don't have enough points, you can't splinter. If it's standard Americans, you've got two levels showing 10 plus points. So you're required to only have 15. And if it's if uh, the responders first bid is a two over one bid, they're guaranteed opening points. So you can open the opener. Opener can, can, can splinter. Uh, with the, the basic open of just 13 plus distribution points. Okay, and because they opened, they have 13 plus length points, so they're only going to have to be strong now. Remember that the splinter is an artificial bid, and all splinters must be alerted, unless it's a qubit. All right, the qubits don't have to be alerted, but in with, in with, there's no competition. Splinters must be alerted. Otherwise, the opponents are going to assume it's a natural pitch on four plus cards, which would be deceptive and can give you trouble a little bit later on with the director. All right, so 
What's the structure of the splinter, the of opener splinter? Well, in this case, because we've already eaten up some of the, the bidding room, it's going to be a jump shift rather than a double jump shift. Okay, let's take a look at the example. You open one dime and your partner bids two clubs. As it turns out, you've got five, five to six diamonds and four to five clubs, and you've got a bunch of points with a singleton or a void in hearts or spades. Hey, this is a hand where you can splinter. We'll see some examples, specific examples of this later. I'm just trying to show the bidding structure now. So by bidding three hearts or three spades after your partner bids two clubs, notice that's a jump shift. Okay, you're showing four plus diamonds, four plus clubs, and 15 plus points with a single void in the bid suit. The same is true in this particular sequence, uh, where the bidding has been one heart, the responder bids two hearts. Uh, if you open one spade, the responder bids two hearts, showing five plus hearts. You only need four cards to splinter because they're showing, uh, we're going to assume if this is a two over one bid, showing game going points, you only need 12 plus points. So uh, you know, there's no, no problem splintering if you have the requisite shape and another example here it, it's uh, uh i'll let you research these yourself so that you can see what the, the purpose of these is to show the basic structure of the splinter is a jump shift bit. now one of the things i wanted to point out is you can also splinter over interference doesn't happen very often but it's there it can be used now, one of the things also to note in these two examples is the number of cards required to splinter. In this first example, you open one diamond, opponent over falls one heart, and your partner does make doubles. Uh, that's a responder negative double, and it promises one of two things. It always promises four spades, but it all it promises either four clubs or tolerance and diamonds. Now, as it turns out, you have five if you were planning on making a respond to reverse. If you've got six diamonds and five spades, so you've got a single turn void, you can still splinter. Point here is you can still splinter. In the second example, the responder is showing five because they did not make a responder negative double. So only four cards or four spades are required in order for the opener to make a splinter. Same number of points are required, but the number of cards vary. So based upon the bidding sequence, you have to determine how many cards you need to have and how many points you need to have. Obviously, you need to have the, the, the nine plus card fit. You need to have uh, the expectation you have 25 plus points. All right, let's look at an example. In this hand, you open one club and your partner bids a heart. All right, now. Let's take a look at your hand here. You've got a lot of points. You've got a really nice shape. However, your partner is only promised four hearts with the one heart bid. It would be nice if they had five hearts, but the only promise is four. So you want to show that you've got the fit, and uh, you want to show that you've got the requisite number of points, 19 plus, but you don't have the right shape of showing nine plus cards. So you only have four plus four hearts would be equal eight hearts are being shown. That's less than nine. So instead of doing a splinter bid here, you're going to bid four hearts. If you wanted to, if you were way behind and you needed a really great hand, you might uh, uh, take a splinter by bidding three spades. But in this particular case, you should just go ahead and bid four hearts. That's going to communicate to your partner that you've got four hearts and you've got 19 plus points. That should be enough information for the response to decide whether they want to investigate slam or not. Splinter would be very useful there, but uh, like I said, you know, if, if uh, you're feeling lucky, you can go ahead and, 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 and bid three spades as a splinter, but I would recommend you bid four hearts. Let's look at the second example here. In this one, we open one heart and our partner bids two diamonds. Really, uh, and in this particular case, and it really doesn't matter whether we're playing two over one or standard American here because the hand's going to be, the opener's going to reevaluate 
his or her hand based upon distribution because they have a nine card diamond fit. The opener, the responder, the opener, the responder has indicated they have five plus diamonds. The opener has four. That's nine. So let's evaluate the hand in relationship to the being able to fit a split. Okay, we've got 16 distribution points plus the 10 points promised by the responder. That gives us 26 points. Plenty of points for the for bidding at the four level. So we're going to bid a splinter bid here. We're going to bid four clubs. What this is is hey partner, I've got five hearts, potentially even six, but five a minimum of five hearts, four diamonds, and 16 plus points. So now the the uh, responder can make the determination whether they want to score slam or uh, to, to, to whether the, the responder wants to bid four diamonds to invite game, uh, explore, slam, or bid five diamonds as game. So there's, you know, it gives the responder the information that's needed for them to determine how to proceed within the auction. In example number three of the opener, we open one spade and our partner bids two hearts. What do we know? We know our partner's got 10 plus points and five plus hearts. All right, now, we, what do we have? We have four hearts, so we know that we've got a nine card heart. We don't need to search any farther for our, our, our trump suit. We know it's going to be hearts. We're going to bypass the, uh, the, the spades because we know we've got a nine. No point, no point in looking for a spade fit if we already know that we've got nine a nine plus card heart fit. Okay, now we're going to evaluate our hand here. We've got 15 distribution points. Okay, so we've got 15 plus 10. It's promised by the two heart fit at the standard American. It gives us 25. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a splinter bid. We're going to bid four diamonds showing that we've got uh, the, the, the nine plus card fit and hearts. And we've got a single temporal of 48 diamonds. All right. Now, so that's enough about the opener splinter. What we're going to talk about now is the advancer splinter to an overcall bid. Now, the structure of this is exactly the same across the board. The only thing, each splinter requires a nine plus card. Okay, and a singleton and a uh, singleton and void. Okay, the only thing that really varies is the number of points that are required. Now, whether it's the splinters being done by the opener, the responder, the advancer, or the overcaller, it should be alert. Okay, now, because uh, the, the uh, overcaller, the, your, the overcaller made the initial bid, overcalls typically 95, 98% of the time guarantee five plus cards. As such, we don't have to worry too much about the number of cards. We need four plus cards in order to but the advancer needs four plus cards in the uh, uh, overcall suit in order to make a splinter bid. Okay, so the, the overcall assumed is to assume to show five plus cards. The points needed by the advancer to splinter is based upon the minimum number of points shown by the overcall. Just like uh, the, the the previous situation with the opener and the the overcaller, the same is true uh, with the opener and the responder. The same is true here with the, between the overcaller and the uh, the uh, advance. What we want to be able to do is to be able to guarantee that we've got 25 plus points between us, so that that we can safely bid at the four level. So, if the overcall was at the one level, we're assuming it's promising eight plus light points. So, to be able to bid, bid a splinter, the responder, uh, the advancer, needs to have 17 plus distribution points. Okay? It's not going to happen a whole bunch because 17 plus 8 is 25, and uh, the opponent's open, that gets you 38. So, it tells you where the majority of all the points are. Okay, if 
the uh, overcaller made a two level non jump overcall, then they're showing 10 plus one. So only then, then 15 are required. Okay, Advancer is going to make a double jump shift showing the single tenor void. Now, again, this is because it's you can almost equate the over the the, the open. The overcall is like an open with but with fewer points. So well, in essence, we're 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 treating this just like a responder splinter, the advancer splinter, just like a responder splinter, but that the partner has fewer points. So in this particular auction here, we actually have competition. Uh, we have uh, we don't have the, this is uh, we have uh, the, our partner is overcalling one spade. Now, in order for us to be able to splinter, we're going to have to have four plus spades and 17 plus distribution points with the single turn void in the bid suit. So, in order for us to splinter, when do double jump shift, we've got to bid four clubs, four dimes, or four hearts. It's just like the, the, the responder splinter to the open. And it can still occur after interference, just like the other situations. So let's take a look at an example. Okay, and these examples are probably the easiest way to understand this. In this one, uh, uh, our left hand opponent opens one diamond, and our partner over calls one spade. What's our expectation? Well, our expectation is the partner's got five plus spades and eight plus points. Uh, our right hand opponent passes, and it's our turn to bid. We're the advancer. Now let's take a look at our hand. Okay. Um, unfortunately, we've got an error in this, but we're going to assume uh, uh, we, we've got four spades. We should say four spades, not four hearts. We've got four spades, so we know we have a nine plus card bid in the spade suit. And let's, let's look at our points. We've got a void in diamonds. So we've got uh, four, seven, nine, 12 high card points, and we get five for the void in diamonds. That gives us 17 distribution points. So 17 plus eight gets us to 25. So we've got enough points to splinter uh, and to uh, show our partner that we have a, a, the, the Fit in spades, and uh, we've got the, the we can we can force the auction to game. So what we're going to do is we're going to bid a splinter of four diamonds. This says, hey, we've got a single turn avoiding diamonds. We've got four plus spades, and we've got a bunch of points. So our partner is now going to be able to use that information to determine whether they want to sign off with four spades or they want to investigate slam. Let's look at a second example here. Uh, our, uh, partner, uh, our opponent opens one heart and our partner does an overcall of two diamonds. What do we expect? Our partner has five plus diamonds and 10 plus points. Okay, let's look at our hands. We've got uh, four diamonds. I should say diamonds and not spades. I'll fix that. We've got a singleton, singleton heart and we've got 13 distribution points. Four, seven, 10, three for that. That's thir three for the singleton. We've got uh, 13 distribution points, but we do have the, the required number of diamonds. Our partner has shown five, but we've got four. That's nine. Okay. And, but our partner's only promised 10 plus points. So we're going to use 10. We've got 13. That's 23. We're not strong enough to splinter with two weeks. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show our fit by bidding three diamonds. Okay. If we were, uh, if we were stronger, we could show the, 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 the splinter, but we're not. Okay. We only get six to 23. All right. Let's look at the, the overcall or splinter to the advancer bid. Okay, this is very similar to the opener uh, splinter to the responder bit suit. So still, it requires nine plus card fit. Remember, make that alert. Okay, because the advancer has bid a new suit, 
after the overcall we're assuming that the new suit has five plus cards it's the minimum required and fake rule is the advancer to show a new suit is going to so show a suit uh, a, a bid that is equal or better to the overcaller's bid so they're generally promising at least eight plus points and a five plus card suit right so the the because the advancer is only promising eight plus points uh, the overcaller in order to splinter needs to have 17. It's a two level bid, 15, just like before. And just be like before, they're making a double jump shift. Let's look at some examples here. Okay, in this one, the uh, opponent opens one diamond. We are the overcaller and we bid one spade. Yep, that's a nice one spade overcall. We've got 10, 12 points, 13 length points. Okay, got a nice shape, and uh, the, our second opponent passes, and our partner bids two hearts. Well, lo and behold, our partner has bid two hearts, showing they've got five plus hearts and ten plus points. So that's what the advancer, what we're, we're saying by bidding two hearts. The advancer is saying by bidding two hearts. If, and the opener passes and comes back around to us. Well, let's examine our hand. We've got five spades that we promised, but we've also got a four card bid in our partner's bid heart suit. So we've got four hearts plus the, 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 the advancer's promised five. We've got four. That gives us our nine hearts. So we've got enough, enough hearts. Okay, in terms of points, we've got 17 distribution points and our partner's promised 10. That's equal to 27. It's greater than 25. So uh, we've got the, the, enough points to bid. So what we're going to do is, yes, we are going to splinter. We're going to jump to a double jump shift, uh, uh, or in this case, a jump shift to four diamonds, showing that we have the, the, uh, the fit and we have the requisite number of points. Let's look at one more example here. Okay, in this case, uh, uh, we overcall one spade again. It's pretty much the same hand. Okay, uh, but now we only have 14 distribution points. We do have the nine nine hearts, but we don't have enough points. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually get three hearts, inviting our partner to go to the game if they have enough points. So the difference between these two hands and these two examples is one, we know we've got enough points to be a game, so we can go ahead and splinter showing our shape. The other one is we're not sure, so we're going to bid three hearts, inviting our partner to be our partner, the advancer is going to make the decision. All right, well that concludes the lesson on uh, splinters and other positions. Uh, I hope the video here is here the ways of giving us a contact us if you've got questions or uh, questions. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, have a nice day.